Okay, so number six, part A. This is writing an equation for the line. So somebody after school asked me a question, and uh, I said, you just need to read slower. It says, consider the curve given by this equation. Uh, therefore, that's the xy equation that finds all these points. on the curve. Any questions there? It says it can be shown that dy dx equals that formula. Therefore, the formula is the way we find the slope at every one of those points. We need the slope right at this point. So I did that. So they did that. I just copied their work. They did that right here. And that earn one point. All the work or just the answer? The yellow finding, you don't have to have the work at all. Okay. If you found the slope to be one four, that would be one point. Then you simply plug that formula into the equation of a tangent line formula, equation of a line formula, you get the second point. So, to be, actually Ryan, if they had the purple box right here, they would get two points. Okay. You can do the one fourth completely in your head. There was no requirement to show exactly where it came from. So, so all you do is plug in some line. That's it. So grade it and then ask me if you have questions. Please. So if they have like the equation like y equals one fourth x plus one and all that, but they did like a minus one at the end, or right. if like they didn't write the one fourth like separate, is that? They didn't have to write the one fourth separate, but because they messed up here, they will lose that point. But they can still get the one fourth. They can still get the one fourth. Okay. Yeah, the point here just says they had to find the slope. Uh, they didn't have to necessarily show how they found it. I show so you can see how I did it. But, yeah. Please, boss. This person put one over three plus one. That's okay. That, okay. Yep. It wouldn't be good practice, but it's fine. Uh, either way, actually, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, they get this, they so, so you said they don't need to show how they, yeah, they have this, they as long as they found it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. That, it's a really good question, Jacob, because there are a good number of FRQ questions where you are required to write a bit to make sure you demonstrate that this one they would not have. It, it's, too, it's too straightforward. Like, here's the formula. They would accept that you could just do it in your head. So. If they don't have y equals on the equation, is that... Yeah. I have that too. Oh, my mm -hmm. look at this word. Uh, what are the two? Yeah, it's not really, an, it's not, like right here, it says the equation of the line tangent. A uh, key portion of an equation is the equal sign. So. Can they write g of x instead of y? That would be fine. Okay. So if, they don't, if they don't have the one four separate and they have it in the yeah. equation, then they're good. That's okay, yeah. So if they have the purple box, uh, they would earn both points, two out of two. Good question. Please. Um, what if you, like, is it greater just looking for the stuff that we have in the purple and red boxes, or if you roll it, stuff that's wrong but still have those answers, like how that would happen? Kind of depends. Like I've seen somewhere, <laughs> it looked like they gave two answers. Like it was equally organized and like uh, no points. You can't expect a greater to say, oh, that one's right. <laughs> But I've also seen other people where, like, they kind of had a good flow and then had some stuff over here that was kind of wrong. And, like, I think the grader would be forgiving that you kind of did this and then you kind of corrected it, you know. Corey, sorry. They used to have one fourth right here, but it's, like, after this work, so I'm like, and then they have it here in this equation. I don't know. They would be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah